Hello everyone, my name is Zipron and welcome to another episode of Redstone Trickery. In today's episode I'm going to do a remake of my of one of my previous videos in which I explained um, the usage of item sorters. Now the reason I want to do this again is because um, it's a bit outdated, um, it, it works, it still works, but there are many things added with the new snapshots um, and this is actually it's this is W10A so we can be pretty sure we get uh, a pre-release in the next week so um, yeah I, I thought it was time for some for a new updated video so without further ado let's jump right into it okay I'm going to explain um, again some things I, I've already explained in previous videos um, I just want everything in one compact uh, tutorial for people who are new to to the update who didn't play the snapshots so um, yeah this is a hopper this is a comparator and these are just indicator lights let's see what happens if I insert a block into here the comparator will um, will emit a redstone signal strength of 1 um, we can see this this the first lamp powered now if we add some some more items let's just oh yeah okay there it happened uh, the second block got powered now this is this is the um, the border I can say yeah um, so the it will the comparator will emit a redstone signal strength according to the amount of items uh, in this in this hopper or any other container. Now um, this is a total of 22. So um, let's quickly see what happens here. Um, this is these are just two comparators po pointing in in that direction. Um, uh, let me quickly add some. 22, okay, 22, 23, and this one got powered. Let me quickly show that again. One is powered, and the second is powered. Now, the reason this happens is because comparators and uh, repeaters act a bit different. If you use, for example, this setup, I'm going to get these all out. Um, the comparator will emit a signal strength of for example 1 in this one but the repeater will take that signal strength and just start from 15, 14, 13 and so on. Now you can repeat signals with the comparator however um, it will keep the, the redstone signal strength so if I insert one in here and remove that one you can see only this one gets powered because the signal strength of one is repeated now of course I don't have enough okay now we can we can see 23 items in here so um, the next lantern is it called lantern yeah lamp um, is also powered now the second part um, is understanding how hoppers work um, this is the most basic setup um, and I want to talk about two concepts um, the push and pull of a hopper when a hopper pushes item into any container um, I'm talking about items in the hopper going from this one to this one and then we say this hopper is, is pushing now if you have for example over here we have two chests and when I put items in here and I close it you can see this hopper will pull the items out of this chest and push them into this one um, second um, thing to know is when a hopper is powered it won't push or pull any items so everything stays in here however this one is not powered so it will it will keep pulling and pushing this one uh, won't pull however this one will push items into the next one so you can see this one being filled up it won't push any further because it's powered and the reason items are coming into this one is because because this one is pushing 
Now if I turn this one off, items are... Well, this is a trap chest, so... Are coming into this one. Good. Second example... Um, is this setup. You can see when items fall on this hopper, they get in there and some things will happen. This hopper will try to push items into this but there's nothing over here. If I place a chest you can see the items being pushed into there. However now it's pushing into an air block so it just it will keep the items into its own inventory. Now this hopper um, will pull, pull items out of this one when it's not powered. So you can see it's happening right now. Again, uh, those are trap chests. So you can see some items are pulled out. And that's basically already the whole system explained. This is just everything a bit compacted. And I will show you how to build it in a second. Um, yeah, let's just take a quick look at uh, this setup. This hopper will push items into, well, this comparator, so it will just keep the items. Um, and these two will repeat a signal according to the amount of items in this in this hopper. Um, once uh, there are more than 22 items in there, the, the redstone signal strength will change to 2 and this block will get powered the repeater will send signal through this torch which won't get powered anymore um, now because this torch powers this block and this hopper is right beneath uh, besides this block um, this one is locked at the moment you see there's one block in there it does nothing because this one is locked now you can imagine and it's it's a really simple system actually uh, once there are more than 20, uh, 22 items in here, so 23 or more um, this hopper will start pulling items out of there until there are again 22 items or less um, so yeah just quickly gonna show this items are pulled out we're back at 22 total and items are well there were already some items in there but items are uh, pushed in the chest by this hopper and you notice there's one block here but that doesn't really matter now if you stack this like I've done over here with water on top um, you can create a basic sorting system I have cyan purple blue brown green and white is just overflow oh I still have some items in here that's very good let's just empty all these chests now let's just see what happens this dispenser is full of some stuff um, and this is way slower than it used to be but that doesn't work anymore so I will just dispense a few items and with some luck yeah here we have some purple some blue wool brown nothing here and here is some overflow for items that don't, don't get sorted. Um, now, yeah, it, it's it's just it's the same setup, um, like I showed over here. I just stacked them uh, a few times, and now we have um, some kind of working item sorting machine. But it's very slow. Um, the water, the dispensers, the clock. Yeah, you 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 feel that that's something should be better and this is actually where my last uh, tutorial stopped and here I'm going uh, some further steps I'm going to explain you how to work with uh, a hopper conveyor belt um, a dropper elevator and just create an awesome uh, sorting machine so I will be right back when that's done okay this is the second setup with the hopper conveyor belt it's actually the same setup I've added some overflow chests over here um, I've copied basically the exact same setup as over there um, I've added well I've replaced the water stream with this uh, hopper belt and you notice I've just pasted those together I don't care about the redstone signals um, but I will explain that uh, in a second 
The first part is this hopper conveyor belt. Um, when items go through this uh, hopper conveyor belt, um, you have to imagine them per tick uh, going one to the left. Now, when an item is in this one, this hopper will push items into this one, but however, this one will pull them out of this one, and this one, and that's fixed since uh, W10A, um, will pull them out before this one will push them in there. So, um, if we take a look in here, we have set up some filters for different kinds of wool. Basically what happens is um, I put some wool in there and it gets sorted. You can see it over here. Everything is okay and nothing is in the overflow chest. So um, yeah, it's just basically adding another row of, of hoppers pointing in in one direction. Um, oh wow, <laughs> in the same direction. I'm I'm very sorry. I didn't want to make that uh, that pun. Um, just right above the setup you know over here. Now just let's take a quick look at, at these. Why are those pasted together? You might ask. Um, well, because if this one gets one more item, it will send a pulse of two redstone uh, signal strengths. However, it starts from here. Here is it, uh, the signal strength is two. Over here it's one, and over here it's zero. But this one is always powered because this one also holds items. Um, however, it will also go to this block, and because there are all repeaters over here and a torch, it will only unpower this uh, this hopper to pull the items out of the correct one. Now there is a flaw with this. Um, if you put, let's say, a, a whole stack in there, the signal strength won't be 2 anymore. It will be a bit higher. Um, so it will also power this one, maybe that one, and it will cause other hoppers to unlock. However, um, this whole system... Oh, that's a cow. Hello. Um, this whole system is based on um, the hopper inputs, and it will only be one item at a time. So, unless you really manually, I, I will do it, but on purpose now, just to to break the whole system. Um, unless you really manually insert, well, I should put them over there. Insert the items. You can see now this one is powered. So, well, I was too slow, but yeah. Um, you can see the, the lime uh, filter is now a bit uh, less because this one also pulled items while it was uh, unlocked. unlocked. So um, you could refill it. However, if you, if, you, if you do this too often, filters might get empty and you get a, an empty hopper um, with all items being able to access it. So that's, that's not things we want. Um, it would jam up the system, but again, it it won't happen because you would uh, input items from a chest, and nothing bad could happen. There is another thing I want to point out, and I do this with enderpearls. Gonna do this for a second. Um, now you need 22 items to create a filter. Um, however, because enderpearls stacks by a 16. You can do the same, you can achieve the same setup with this. From the moment I add one block, it will get sucked out. I will I will put a few more in there. And you can create a filter like this. Um, also with other things but under pearls, you can use uh, buckets, eggs, things that stack by 16 snowballs, you can also use. I just use under pearls because I have a crap load of them in my survival world. Um, oh, now I've done it. There's still a slight issue, by the way, with with uh, hoppers. Yep. Okay. Good. Um, we're setting these up. Just be a bit careful not to to break everything. I'm actually doing. Uh, no, I'm not doing it wrong. Okay, good like this and 
like that's dark gray okay like this and everything is set up the same way you just don't need that many items so you you need two items to sort and well three actually because this one will always there will always be one over there um, which isn't a big issue I think even if you want to sort on on diamonds it's it's only it's only three diamonds you cannot even make make a helmet with that so well you can make a pickaxe but oh well let's just uh, show you again that this works like this and we got our wool and Oh yeah, that that was because I I broke that over there, but everything works. Um, so yeah, there's one last thing I want to talk about, um, and then we're done. I'm going to leave you after that. I promise. Um, you ha you can make this whole system with with chests stacked. Oh, one small thing this is probably a normal chest and this is a trap chest and so on I just stack them like this for for optimal uh, space and you wouldn't even need this row you could just keep the, the top row but yeah this is just overflow protection and it, it also looks cool I think you can store more items but you need more chests um, yeah um, the question is I always input items from here, but how would you you would you would want to walk over here and put all your items in one chest and them getting sucked out and transported over there going round and round you should make a loop with those by the way I'm going to show you that uh, in the end of the video um, but it, it should go automatically and that's why I want to add one more thing um, a dropper elevator um, so I'm going to do that right now and I'll be back okay I'm done and somehow I've managed to put everything in the wrong place so um, you might want to hide this setup uh, a bit better in your real base however this is just to explain the concept um, I've done a video about this dropper elevator um, a few redstone trickery episodes ago I will be sure to put a link in the description. Um, I know this is not the most compact design. Uh, I know there are other designs out there which are much more uh, convenient to build and to work with. Um, however, this design I'm sure of won't break in any updates because it doesn't use any magical tricks or glitches and that's what uh, redstone trickery is all about. Well, that that's... I just... well, redstone trickery. I don't use any tricks. That that's that's the thing. Okay, I don't want to use glitches. Um, so I I just keep building dropper elevators like this. You don't have to, but there's a chance it will break. Um, so yeah, the, the concept is you just put items that you wanna you wanna sort out in one chest, and um, they get all dispensed into into this hopper. Um, note that this dropper will shoot them into this hopper that that's how droppers work and yeah you basically just connect those uh, oh sign will I don't sort by sign will so those come in here Going to add well lime lime is coming go away okay I saw some lime Now it's full with blue, of course, lime. Okay, 11. Yeah, it uh, it works. And I removed this because it was interfering with redstone. So yeah, you just you you should space things out um, a bit better than I did. But this was just for explaining the concept. Um, and this is actually this whole system works like a charm. It doesn't break, and I'm very glad with that. I'm going to show you um, a survival example right now. We're here in my survival world, on my survival server actually. Um, I don't have Optify installed, so I, it's difficult to show you, but you can see the the line going over there. That's the hopper loop. 
I just insert items in them and things get sorted. So let's get uh, and take a quick look. Um, over here are the dropper elevators and they will insert items into the into the loop um, and those elevators are connected to these chests. I should turn smooth lighting on yeah are connected to uh, these chests so any items I, I put in here will get sorted um, if they can um, and all it's it's a, it's a bit difficult to see over here but yeah all these redstone things that are uh, the actual sorting units it's always parkouring over here um, yeah I, I've set up a lot of chests over there over here I have some more space and over there is also full um, I have connected some more stuff for example uh, this uh, smelting setup which I con can control by levers so yeah if um, gold ore comes over here it will uh, it will get insert into this furnace and when it's done it will get returned to the loop so it, it just if I insert gold ores they will smelt automatically uh, same with iron and I've added an option for sand and cobblestone um, but yeah th this is just it's my design you know it, it doesn't the, I don't say you have to build things like this which <laughs> it took by the way a very long time look at all all these hoppers and th those are all mine it's legit um, but yeah it was for sure a fun project to work on um, and if you if you want to do things like this it, it's 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 doable don't get me wrong I did it but it takes a while to work on um, and when I built it there, there were just all always the, the snapshot changes and things broke and I had to rebuild stuff but now I'm pretty sure um, with the announcement of the pre-release um, this will will keep working for let's hope the entirety of Minecraft <laughs> so um, yeah I, I hope uh, I could uh, this video helped you out and um, you understand now how all this um, trickery works it's not that it's not that uh, difficult it's just it takes a while to build a very large project like this um, but yeah I really hope you enjoyed uh, if so I would like to remind you that all likes and feedback are much appreciated um, leave them in uh, leave the feedback in the comments or just mail me on YouTube um, and if you want to see more um, be sure to check the description and maybe subscribe if you want to get, um, be up to date with my, uh, with my uploads so thank you and I hope to see you next time